and welcome back to my AFC Wimbledon Football Manager Save. Um, last time out, uh, we, we were against Manfield, and uh, if you did watch um, the episode, uh, we lost 3-1 home. It was such a disappointing loss. Um, but, I, we, you know, I, as you can see, we sort of picked, you, sort of picked ourselves up. Um, granted, uh, a lot of a, a lot of um, a lot of our, our form has been picked up in the cups. For example, we won against Berry in the FA Cup first round, um, who are actually um, second um, in the in the league, um, which is a really really good victory. We uh, we was very very solid actually. Um, we we was we was fairly convincing. Um, I'm pretty sure it was a it was a difficult game though. It's, but to be honest, I played this game like 15 minutes ago, and I can't really remember. Well, not 15 minutes, but you know, like I've, I've been playing since last episode to now. Um, but the goals were really good. Uh, we Appiah picked up two goals, just storming it, absolutely storming it. Appiah has. Uh, because of Fosu's injury, we, we've had a lot of injuries um, just going around, honestly. Um, but Appiah has really picked himself up and done really well. And another player that's really caught my eye is Ismail. I remember when I first picked him up, he really wasn't very good. Um, but I remember uh, but when we first picked him up, he really wasn't very good, but... He's really picked himself up. And honestly, we did really fantastically well to get a 2-0 win from there because we was at nine men. Because uh, Jack Finch got sent off, straight red, two-footed tackle. I didn't even appeal it, which was ridiculous, right? And they still extended the ban for two matches on top of the two already, which was absolutely ridiculous. Um, I, I honestly, I, I was so robbed. Um, here against Burton, if I remember correctly... Um, it was, oh, yes, I remember, uh, Appiah was actually on international duty, and he was on international duty for two matches, this game we was not good enough, Burton were 11th at the time of, uh, at the time of playing this game, and we are, we honestly won by the, the scrape of our teeth, but Tanner, who came in, and has actually filled um, um, my second striker role very, very convincingly, um, he's been playing really, really well. He's actually really done, like, he's done really well for me. Uh, he's He's been really consistent, almost as consistent as Appiah. And, um, yeah, he's been really, really good. Um, he, he honestly, he plays a lot like, um, a lot like Appiah in a way. I mean, Appiah, in my eyes, Appiah's a lot more better. He's a lot more clinical. But this Tanner, honestly, is very, very good. Um... Here, uh, you know, we won 2-0. We did get a penalty in the last minute, so really it was a 1-0 victory. But five shots on target out of five shots. You know, they had five five shots on target as well. We had more clear cut opportunities. So uh, you could argue you could argue that we were... It was, it was honestly quite an even game, I guess. Um, we did deserve to win it, I would definitely protest. Um, but Barry Fuller did pick up an injury, uh, who is our... At the time, we didn't have Frankham back, uh, if I remember correctly, and Frankham's sort of our main right back, but Barry Fuller's been really consistently good for us uh, in Frankham's absence. Um, here, we played against Yeovil. Now, this was this was a particularly amazing game. Now, let me explain to you why this is particularly amazing, because Yeovil... Let's see if we can go to Yeovil really quickly. Yeovil are in League One, and last year, they was actually in the Championship, and they're seventh in League One. Now, to come away with a 3-0 victory away was absolutely ludicrous, like, absolutely ridiculous. Um, I was I was really ecstatic. This kid, by the way, uh, <laughs> Adeji, or Adedeji, Adedeji, that's what I'm going to call him. Um, <laughs> he's got a really complicated name, I'm really sorry, but he... He's been ridiculous. I'll explain to you why as we go through the results. But he is, he is, he's been ridiculously good. Um, here, uh, we were so convincing. We got off to such a good start. Um, we got, you know, Craig Tanner getting on the score sheet again. Uh, no, no, no. 
No, he didn't, did he? No, he didn't. I'm, I'm completely, I'm completely wrong with that. But again, here we go. Sean Rigg. Okay, he has stepped in because of Fosu. Um, you know, not playing very well. Uh, no, sorry, Fosu being out injured, and he has, you know, really stepped up his game. He's been fantastic for us. Like, honestly, I don't really know. Like, he, he has honestly been really good. And honestly, um, Fosu has come back from injury now um, because I he picked up a knock. Um, and he was out for a few weeks, and he come back from injury now, and I am actually keeping him out. The, it, like Rig is keeping him out of the team with his form, which is absolutely ridiculous. Like considering how good Fosu has been for us, you know, during the season. But I did play him uh, last game, and he wasn't very good at all. Um, I also got a signing um, that I I, I want to really want to show you. I did sort of get him. Um, before uh, Ishmael picked up his fantastic form, uh, I'll go. I'll show you that after. Um, but you know, here three-one victory over Newport, uh, in Newport County. Uh, we wasn't good enough, honestly. We wasn't good enough, but they was very poor as well. They played uh, a four-four-two, which uh, is starting to. We're starting to struggle against that, but we got off to a really, really solid start. We. Now here we, you'll notice again, uh, Adedeji getting on the score sheet two games in a row from set pieces. Um, Tanner also getting on the score sheet, and Smith who picked up a really nasty injury in this game, and he's been he's been such a key player for us, and he's so the th the thing that keeps him in this team like is his versatility in every position. And yeah, you know, he's he's been, he's been out for a while, and I think he comes back in. A week, uh, I might be wrong with that, but I'm pretty sure he does. And he's been such like a, a vital player to our team this season. But they scored, um, and honestly, it was quite squeaky bum time because there was only one goal up for like 80 minutes of this game. But we ended up getting a penalty, I think, in the last minute. Um, which, and wait, am I completely wrong here? I, I'm sure that that happened. Or it's just something just happening oh this is where he dinks it over the defender too yeah that's pretty good <laughs> sorry i noticed that and i thought that was pretty good um oh no tanner just scored it okay fair enough craig tanner but craig tanner again getting on the score sheet like he he's been consistently good for us like he picked up four and five starts i think which is really good considering he's a he's actually a cam and i've just been i just sort of stuck him up front because we i, I don't like connelly Akin Fenwa, since the beginning of the season, he's good against crapper teams, but he is not good against the better players. Um, here, I played this match, uh, not like, oh my, I, I just can't even express how frustrated I am. Plymouth, 17th, and honestly, I don't know what was going on. They scored so early, and it was just, defenders just switched off. They just switched off, and honestly, I think it was just down to complacency. Um, and we were just chasing the game from the third minute. And then they got another goal here in the 15th. And uh, uh, it was so, they were just so dangerous. It just had like, there were so many opportunities where I just thought, oh my God, he's going to score. He's going to score. And I do not know what it was. I don't know if it was the defense, if it was like, uh, I just, I mean, I really don't, I really don't know. We, we was absolutely awful in this game. We was absolutely awful. Um, and we didn't deserve... I really, really wanted... Like, you can see in the stats here, you know, we had less shots on target than the but more shots. We had, you know, the same amount of clear-cut opportunities and more possession, but we wasn't good enough. They... they it's their formation. The four-one-four-one just seems to really screw with us. Like, it's so... It just seems to be so solid against us, and I'm not entirely sure why that is. Um... But I mean, yeah, it is. It's been it's been really really solid against us, and they came away with a two one win at home, and oh, it was frustrating. But we're gonna go over the league now. Um, we are top by goal difference. Uh, let me just point that out to you, and we are only five points from the playoff zone, like from dropping out the playoff zone. Um, I'm gonna be doing like a double whammy episode, so it's gonna be quite a long one. Um, I might edit it down see my well try and test out my editing skills but i don't think i will but 
the, the loss to Plymouth was just devastating. And basically, I mean, three teams, Mansfield, Berry, and us, are now joint top. Which is... Oh, God, I'm so sorry. Which is just ridiculous, really. And then, like, South End one point behind us. And it's like, it's such a close league. And we're coming up to, like, halfway through the season. And I, I still don't know where this is going to go. Like, usually, usually you can just see it slowly develop a lot more. But we're against Wickham today. And the, I'm going to do the Johnstone's Paint Trophy. Um, simply because um, I really want to win it. I really feel like we can actually win it. Um, we've we're in the. This is a semi final now. If we get through, I is that a draw? Oh no, no, it's not a draw. Sorry, um, we was drew against Wickham, and after beating Yeovil away three 0 I'm very, very confident that we can probably win this. Like, or I, I would like to at least anyway. Um, but yeah, we're gonna. We're gonna. Oh no, they're playing the four one four one. Oh. Right. Let's do that. No, actually, we're going to do that. Boom. Uh, this is my second tactic that I've sort of been working on a little bit. I've not used it much at all, um, if I'm completely honest. But um, I'm sure that it can... I'm sure, uh, Basically, this is a 4 one 4 asymmetric, but... In my eyes, I mean, if you look at it, it's sort of like a 4 3 3. I'm, I'm really sorry, I haven't actually done my team yet. Um, I probably should. But Appiah, I'm going to leave him out because he's not really fit. Who should I really play? I mean, I don't feel like we need anyone. Ballman, probably take him out. He's not really a fantastic player. Right. Let's have him as a box to box as well. And should I have him as a poacher? That's what I've been playing him recently. Mm, okay, I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this. I think. Who we got on the bench? We only need. Oh, let me just go over my signing. Yeah, this is the signing I made. It's a free transfer. Uh, I was going through like random, um, you know, doing that, going through random, checking the youth teams, etc. And I came across him, and I thought on a free transfer, he's fantastic. Especially, I mean, I did. The thing is, though, he, he, I mean. Here's the good things. Here's the good news. He was born in Holland, so he actually speaks English, um, which is which is good. Um, he's you know he's got really solid you know thirteen dribbling, thirteen crossing, thirteen first touch, thirteen technique. You know he's he's thirteen pace, thirteen like he's good. He's he, you know he's worth quite a bit as well. So maybe we could actually make some money on him. Um, I mean even if we sell the guy for ten k, we we're still making a ten k is is a big profit. So. Um, especially for this level, but he uh, he looks good. He speaks English, so in my eyes, he should be able to meld into the team really well, or like well quickly. I, sh I guess is the right word. Um, yeah, I he he's. I think he's going to be a good player personally. I think. Well, I hope he is anyway. But let's just get into the game. Let's get into the game. We're at home against Wickham. Uh, I, do, it, I I'm pretty sure that it's not a two leg. Uh, two leg f sort of setup so um we're just going to go into it we're going to see like we're going to see i really want to win this i really want to see if we can actually go on and win um but this is another thing i'm really happy about sorry for i just keep babbling but um my my, my team talks are actually working really well now like they seem to respect my my opinion and stuff uh, uh i signed a new contract with the team and um yeah so I'm hoping that, well, I, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's just good. I'm, I'm really sorry, I'm just babbling. But I'm really, basically, I'm really, really happy. Uh, I'm really, really happy with our performance in Cups. Like, we, we've we've beaten Warsaw 1-0. Uh, I think it was away as well, which is a big victory. They were all over us, and we didn't deserve it at all. Again, on the score sheet, you have got to be good. <laughs> Again, as a deji, man. Like, oh, my God. I think he scored four games in a row, maybe even five, which is just ridiculous. Like, as a centre back as well, he's so nuts. He's absolutely insane. Look at the composure on that finish. That's a, that's fantastic. But um, so we just got off to the best start ever. But we we've beaten Warsaw was in the FA Cup. Uh, Yeovil was in the Johnston's Paint Trophy. And honestly, I want to win it. I'm like, I'm really pumped. Like the only the only bad side is um, we are actually 
we're actually doing worse in the league. I feel well, we're dropping points in the league just due to just to like, like Plymouth. They had like ninety percent of their players were on ninety nine condition, when most of mine were in the the, the high eighties, and it's. It does. It does show, and it definitely does make a difference. Especially like if you're like if one player is tired, then it doesn't make much of a difference. But if like you you know you got like six, seven, maybe eight people who are tired in your team, it's gonna make a difference. Especially if they're gonna exploit that. You know they can run more, they can run faster, run longer, sort of thing. And it really does make a difference. Um, but we're doing well here. My 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 tactics switch up is is uh, working wonders. They, we're getting good shots. Well, I say we're getting good shots. We're getting shots. But a lot of the highlights have been from there. Alex Samuel. I already know that he's a fantastic player. I really like their away kit. But damn. Alex Samuel. Oh, okay. This is disappointing to say the least. Oh, just poor defending really, wasn't it? We're not closing down F round. Wow, 7.5 rating already. What is he doing? He needs to be stopped. Where is he? Oh, my left back. Okay. Oh, tell me I brought... I didn't. Ah, uh, okay. It's fine. <laughs> uh, Added Deji, you can play there, I'm sure. Uh... Finch. Actually, I'm not going to do that. That's ridiculous. Why would I do that? Right. Uh, I'm going to put Bullman there. Um, what? What? I mean, what? What needs changing? Craig Tanner isn't having a fantastic time, so we're going to change him to an advanced forward. As soon as it was, okay, it's done. Um, I'm going to play this guy as a support, please. I hope I hope that's gonna make a difference. I hope what I do, well I hope what I do can make a difference. I know we're going into half time, um, so hopefully I'm gonna tell him that I'm not I'm I'm ple I'm not pleased. Defense haven't done very good. Oh, obviously he's he's fantastic. He's not doing good, and now he's in my midfield. Truthfully, so we need to step up the game. We need to do a lot more better. If four one four one just seems to honestly just mess with. Like it just seems to like crumble my team. Like it's because it's just it just seems to be so defensive that it just beats me. Like okay, they switched to a four four two, so maybe I will switch to my um four two three one DM formation. Let's see how that does. Oh, why is that there? <laughs> just when I checked. Oh, Goodman's taking a bad knock. And Rig is injured as well. Like, what the hell? Right. Uh, it's time. I, I only brought him on as a sub last time. And he's quite young, which is, is quite disappointing. But... I've got faith in him. I do. I, I, I've got faith in him. I, I'm sure that he's going to do fantastic. Come on, I've got faith in you. He looks happy when I said that to him. Just tell him to edge on, boys. Encourage, come on. Work hard. Let's keep going. Nothing has happened in the second half at all, <laughs> which is hilarious. Um, literally nothing. Nothing is. Hurt. Maybe we should tell tell the players to hurt them or something. I know it's not the best, <laughs> but yeah. Since they've used all their subs, I know it's a bit of a bad tactic, and I'd probably get slandered for it. But I think it's it's necessary. And Tanner here, here we go. Come on, boys. Why is there no support? That's the only thing about counter. Oh, go on, Tanner. Capitalize, bro. You get to it. Yes. No. What a save, Tanner. Please. Oh no. Oh Jesus. The more and more I play this save, the more I really get like pumped up for every match. The more I get like. Really excited for it. God, this is so exciting. Ah, oh, I really, really want to win this match. Come on, please. 
Work hard. Work hard. Come on. What can I? What can I? What can I tell him to do here? What can I tell him to do? Right. They're playing a four four two, so I can't. So I might as well just stretch them wide, and exploit the middle. Why don't we not do it? Let's do that as well. Come on, boys. I want to. Come on. I really want to win this match. I really, really want to win this match. Alex Samuel, stop him from playing the game and stop M frame from playing the game as well. Or F frame. Clements wins the ball. What's he going to do with it? Lose it to Bean straight away to D Samuel to A Samuel. You just blast it. That's good. That's what I want to see. They've been really. They've really set it up in this second half, Wickham. They really have. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Right. Who have we got on the bench that I can bring on? Pff, Aziz, Phillips, and Potter. Right, let's just not make any changes. Bowman to Clements, what's he gonna do? Although Aziz might be able to do it, I might just see where this goes. Right, that's absolutely awful. Right, Clements is looking worse for wear, so we're gonna put Tanner for there. We're gonna put Aziz there. We're gonna put him as a poacher, and we're gonna go route one. Go route one. Pass into space. Uh, let's play narrower and let's stop doing that but close down much more because I'm, I'm, I'm seeing that and it's just not working so let's push, my, push that up as well come on boys See what it, he keeps swip, swapping a frame around and it's really like disorientating I think it's messing with my players as well but Tanner to Fortes what's he going to do Reeves what's he going to do he's going to smack off the bar Aziz what are you doing no! Oh, Aziz, that was your opportunity to prove to me that you deserve to be at this club. Oh my god, no! You, if we lose this game, he, I, I'm, I'm never ever playing him again. He's going to sit in the under-18s for the rest of his career. Jesus Christ. That is so disappointing. Ah, oh, that's so annoying. It looks like they're trying to exploit the whip, but they're really not being able to. Like, we're really solid defensively at the minute. Apart from run through ball. Thank God. Thank God. Four minutes of added time. Come on. Go route one. Smack it up to his ease. Penalties. Tanner, Ishmael, Reeves, Pullman. Aziz, really? Okay. No, I'll just do this. You know what's ridiculous? I always thought Finch and Goodman, like more specifically Finch, is worse at taking penalties than Bouchel. I just thought that was ridiculous. I'm, I'm probably just should we put this in 3D. Just um, Tanner, cool, calm, and just complete. Great goal. Come on, boys. Bouchel, I want you to stick out for me, bro. Oh, so unlucky, Alex Samuel. Oh, Jesus. Ishmael, he's been so good for us recently. Oh! Off the bar, no! Oh, I don't want this to... Oh, I really don't want this to be the end. Hayes. No! Ah, <laughs> oh, come on. I wonder if this makes any difference. Reeves, yay! Come on, he's been such a good play for us, yes. Okay, come on, Bushel. I just need one save. That's all I need, bro. That's all I need. Oh, he, come on, he's smacking it right down the middle. Pay attention. Billman, come on, Billman. Big goal. Yes, big goal. Okay. Right, we really need to save Vichelle. We really need a sell. Oh, he's been so good today. Oh, yeah. He's been good. He's never going to miss. If he, if he plays good during the match, he's never going to miss a penalty. Aziz, come on. Yes. Come on, Aziz. Bushell, I really, really, really wait, 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 wait. Let's slow this down. Okay, this is this is a tense moment. Okay, <laughs> this is a tense moment. We're doing it in slow motion. No, it went through him. Oh no! Oh my god! It went through my goalkeeper. Ah, oh, this is so. I'm just damn. Oh my god. And you know what? I'm a little bit disappointed with my defence, so God. You know, I, I feel just I feel like I've just bitten my tongue. 
I feel like I've just bit my tongue and just be like, oh yeah, I feel like we're going to do really, really well. Maybe we can win it. And Sean Rigg and Kennedy, two, two, oh my god, that's ridiculous. I guess Fauci's really going to have to step him up now. Oh, I'm so disappointed with that loss. I really am. Um, right. I, <laughs> I'm actually just going to end it here. I know I said I was going to do two matches. I'm quite demoralised now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm quite disappointed, but um, but we what I might do is I might re I might record the South End game. Um, in fact, no, I'm gonna do the Berry one because the South End game is only three games after, and I feel like we've probably got a better chance of winning. Oh god, we've got so many like tight games coming up: South End, Tranmere, and then Berry. That's ridiculous. I'm so disappointed with we didn't win that game. Um, right, okay, I'll do the berry one, and I hate, uh, I hate Wickham now, so, uh, <laughs> yeah, so we'll do, I'll do the, I'll do the berry one, because we won last time against them, and they're second, and they're right on our tails, same as Tranmere and South End, truthfully, but, um, <laughs> but berry have been, like, more consistently up there with us, so I feel like, I feel like I owe it to them to, to do that i'm really really sorry like two uploads in a row now and both of them losses of really big games Ugh, i'm just so disappointed with myself and the team um i really i hope to see you guys in the next one um i really hope you enjoyed it i mean today i mean i really had a blast playing for manager today um it's been ugh, it's been so just like up and down up and down all the time but um yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed it and i, I hope to see you guys in the next one so I'll see you guys later and uh, thanks for watching.